Welcome to episode 2 of our Rule the Wave series, playing as Austria-Hungary. Last episode, we uh, got the game started and pretty much stopped right there, so let's uh, take a little time and uh, have some fun here. So, we're sitting here, it's our very first turn of the game, January of 1900. This will run all the way up to 1926 is the first game end date. You can run it all the way to 1950 if you choose to, but there's a certain technological plateau you could say kind of everybody reaches the same point so the uh, uniqueness of each nation kind of disappears so that's why 26 is kind of cut off so our first turn there's not a lot we need to do right now we are we have everything in the Mediterranean our one uh, so little territory in the world is in Eastern Europe and uh, there's not much else our entire fleet if you look you can see is dispatched currently to the Mediterranean is worth, I think if I'm more quick at this, is how many points it's worth for blockading purposes. 44 points of ships. How do we compare? If you open the end of Almanac, we'll see that in terms of finances, we're fairly competitive with Italy behind France and Germany and Russia, although Russia, in my experience, is okay ish to fight. Um, stay away from Great Britain and USA. Uh, currently we have, comparing fleets, nobody has any ba actual true battleships, nobody has any true battle cruisers, just in the research yet. Battleships in service, we have one in service, that you see our tonnage, France is two, Italy also has one, but they went for a large one at 15,000 tons. Okay, they have none building at, at this point, so they've got an advantage. Heavy cruisers, they have one, and they are building one, so we're behind. But their heavy cruisers coming in at 7,600 tons, whereas ours is a monster at 13, because ours is set up for raiding. If it was moderate range, it would be significantly lighter. Uh, CLs in service are comparable. Ours are bigger. So you see there's this, probably 30-ish. Yeah, they're, they're, they're light cruisers are fairly light, as you'd expect with a light cruiser. And, uh, but we've got just as many, but, uh, ours are heavier. So we're winning the light cruiser race already, you can see Lee. Destroyers, well, we're, we're well ahead. We've got twice the tonnage. Cool. We have some minesweepers, they don't. The AI adds them as needed. Kind of a non-issue. Cool. Under construction, we're building one heavy cruiser. And it's using up basically all of our funds right now. If we want to, we can put one ship into the reserve fleet. And that will put its maintenance down to half cost. We'll go ahead and add even one more ship. Uh, the rest of the fleet I'm going to leave on active duty because the story is hardly cost anything. And this will, won't hurt us that much. In turn. Alright. And that's it for turn one. We're already in February. Nothing happened. Uh, our current tension levels are all very low. Although we have some tension with Russia. Which is kind of interesting. We can go ahead and... I'm going to hold on to my funds. I might actually go ahead and halt this construction for one turn so I can increase my dock size. Over time, technology will start increasing this for us, but initially, it basically goes nowhere. Go ahead and end one more turn. All right. Some stuff's happening. Uh, USA is increasing the money going to their Navy. Okay, it doesn't really hurt us. Great Britain's putting down new destroyers. And Germany's having problems with research. All right, cool. But let's go ahead. Our our balance is two million. We're gonna go ahead and build a larger dock, and we're gonna start putting some money into intelligence. Right now, low is fine. I just want to kind of have a general idea what everybody's up to. One more turn. All right. How are we gonna to respond to Russia increasing the size of the navy? Well, we're gonna condemn it. This will increase our prestige, which is basically our currency for winning. The more prestige we can finish the campaign with, the higher we'll rank for our own, you know, the, our own personal leaderboard. If we drop right around below 15, is when we have a chance of being fired. I've been fired around 14 prestige before. We had a very bad game, so you want prestige. Uh, all right. If we choose this option, we'll also get a budget increase and a lot of tension. You see, it's two pluses. So we'll increase the tension quite a bit with Russia. Uh, we could just do a generic increase to tension, but I want the prestige because we're very low right now. That we have some options later on for if events with Britain start happening because we don't want to go to war with Britain. That will basically end our game. 
And we could complain, which is just bad for us. It's too early for that. Okay. Tension went up. Our income as a result will go up just a hair because, they, uh, you know, things are getting hot. Or at least warm. So uh, we start getting more budget. Tension is good for us for building stuff. Yeah, they're having problems with their research too. A few light cruisers going down. Okay, cool. We're going to go ahead and resume construction. Minus 200k. Just fine. I would love to add another ship, but we don't really have the budget right now to be able to build two of that kind. If we get some bigger destroyers, I might add them, but another light cruiser would be a little too expensive. If we go to build... Oh, cruiser light... Yeah, that'd be another million per month cost. Just can't afford that right now. Alright, so this is unfortunate. The uh, budget got cut. That's a bummer. Tensions are going up, budget's going down. That's not a good sign. Uh, they put down another destroyer. Their navy want their they their people. They want more cruisers. Okay, and... Ooh, now this is good to know. France is building a heavy cruiser that's 21 knots, so our heavy cruiser is still faster with a belt of 5.5 inches. Now that's something. And if we open our design, we had a belt of 5 inches, so they'll actually have a heavier belt. This is something the AI will do. It will start building ships to try to counter the ships that you're constructing. You can get a bit of a uh, naval arms race going. So our 9-inch guns will not be able to penetrate that new cruiser's belt. So that's the AI directly responding to what we're building. Which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm going to go ahead, since our budget seems to be kind of sitting there, I'm going to accelerate construction for one turn. We see it went from 8 months down to 7. <laughs> That's pretty 21 knot. Also, 3 inch belt on a new light cruiser. See, the AIs are already responding. That's actually unfortunate. Sometimes they don't respond that early. And we can no longer afford to have this on accelerated. Yeah, if you can accelerate it for long enough, you'll uh, even out. We'll actually hold construction. I don't like to get that close to zero because you will have some random events or fluctuations of budget that can put you in the hole real quick. Again, see, naval budget went down again, so that would have put us into the hole. Resume at high acceleration. A uh, bunch more DDs. Okay. And I'm going to try normal. I'm going, to tr I'm going to accelerate it until we no longer get that benefit, that change a month. That means we've accelerated as far as we can build it. <laughs> oh, 18 knot battleship for Italy. So we are going to have to bring another uh, battleship online, or at least a couple more light cruisers, something. <laughs> 10 inch Italian, yeah, okay, so they're getting serious. Oops, nope, alright, they don't like that. Uh, normal construction, yep, and yeah, still too close, halt. This is what you run into as the smaller nations early on, you just don't have the money. Oh, our spies. Yes, yes, yes. So, new British armor cruiser. Comparable displacement. Slower. Lighter belt. But heavier guns. Ooh, and they went for some heavy secondary guns. Which is something I'd been contemplating. Yeah, and 33 inch. Wow, they managed to pack in a lot of ship there. That's where they have the advanced research already on us. Because they they tar start out with technological leads. They already have some better technology. And they have a bigger budget, so you know, our 10% of 28 million versus their 10% of 48 million. It's you know almost twice the budget going into research, so they will tech up faster than us. All right, so this is a world cruise event. Uh, what? How? How are we going to do it? Uh, we could go for prestige and tension by sending our latest and greatest ships. Average ships is no—it's just nothing. Or older ships where it will cost us some prestige, but we'll get some budget. And we have a little prestige to play with. We're kind of gambling this early, but I want more budget. 
see again so that it was a bit of a wash for us but that's better than dropping down again resume and if we go accelerate yeah we're still shaving off a little bit there new Russian destroyer one main inch, some secondaries, two torpedoes, uh, yeah, it's kind of whatever, I don't care too much. In general, Arlark cruisers are there to kill those destroyers, so I don't really care too much. Alright, I don't not only like increasing tension with Germany, but we need the budget. So I'm going to increase with them just a little bit, so that uh, we're more likely to get a good event. And we'll go back to normal. Oh, wow, we're actually going to have to accelerate this one all the way to the... Normally, it starts rounding for me. Uh, apparently, it's not going to this time. How would you recommend? Interesting. I've never seen a rebellion in Alaska before. That's funny. Mm, reach mediate. Who you say to read out the rib? No, no, no. I'm from Alaska. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and rebel from the USA. Let's help them out. So tension went up to moderate for the United States. That's fine. We just don't want to push it too far. We're trying to create enough tension to start getting some budget so we can build ships again. All right. And that's at zero, and that's at zero. It's so normal construction, so we'll go back down. Cool. Uh, next. We've had some slight increases in technology. So we're going to go ahead and build another battleship. Open the design. And we have a little bit of tonnage free, not a whole lot. Do anything want to change? Belt is adequate, but extended is adequate. Deck, deck, conning tower, turrets, turret tops. Everything feels completely adequate to me. It's a very adequate ship. One thing I will do is increase the ammunition and make sure, yep, nothing better there. hundred and eighty rounds perfect sounds good to me we'll leave a little bit of room just in case she's heavy check it short range that's fine save it yep all right we c you can't overwrite a ship that's already been built so we'll call this the mark two it's not a substantial change so it's yes we're gonna build a mark two I'm going to name this one, oh, the Henry. I just name stuff as I like it, whether it's historically accurate or not, whatever. Uh, and this ship is actually going to cost us less than our heavy cruisers to build. So now this, because that design template we is used is almost identical, it's going to cost us almost nothing in development. Otherwise, if it's a brand new ship design, it can be very expensive to start out with a new ship. Uh, this will put us in the hole for this turn, but it should be okay. Yes. It is found is design speed. Awesome! So this ship is actually faster. So we have like a 23 knot cruiser. That's excellent. Cool. Alright, so we're building our new battleship. She's actually cheaper to build than our old heavy cruiser. So this is excellent. We're going to start getting some money. Uh, dock size has gone up. Can't quite afford to increase it just yet. Rebellion in Alaska continues. That is hilarious. Some alternate history here, folks. Alright, so do we want to sell technology to South America? Absolutely. We have no technology. We have no technological lead. Sell it. We need budget. Give them our crappy ship technology. <laughs> okay, nothing substantial going on. I'm going to increase Intel on Britain for now. They're the lowest of the bunch, and we might be able to get a little bit of technology from them for free. We'll reduce it a little bit later if anything gets interesting. Ooh, new French battleships. What are they building? 15,500 tons. Not surprised. 12 inch guns. That hurts. Uh, 16 6 inch. That's interesting. And they're actually doing double turrets already. Wow. Yeah, those bigger uh, bigger budgets help. Nine inch belt, yeah, totally outclasses us. Just hands down, a better ship. We're not going to be fighting that with ours. Ours is still... Oh, no, they're actually the same speed. So, yeah, we're totally outclassed. That happens. That's okay. We're still going to lay down this ship because I need it for blockade purposes.
if we're going to be winning a fight versus Italy, it's going to be by having more tonnage. At least for right now. Alright, our budget. We're actually finally passing Italy, that's awesome. Because we've got tensions with everybody. Battleships in service. Again, they've got one big one. We're going to have two smaller ones. That's fine. Heavy cruisers. They've got twice the number of them, but our one ship is better. Just damn near better than both of theirs. And no other real changes. What Are they building anything? Nothing's being built right now. Okay. That's hilarious. Pressure hull. Okay, we're not quite to subs yet, but... Oh, we got oh, we got that from uh, from USA for me. Good to know. Tensions going up in the United States. We're gonna lower that down. I do not want to have a hot war with the U.S. I'm fine with Russia. Totally fine with Italy. We might even bump that up to medium, and we're staying medium there. But I do not want to any uh, fights with the with the United States. They're too big. Oh yes, this will definitely spell our doom. Increase that tension. We will need the budget. Great Britain, heavy cruiser. Okay. There's an intern for a little bit. We're trying to get to a fight. Hopefully, I'm thinking Russia might be our first one. We'll have to eyeball them. Hmm. Uh, we're in the green. I don't want to lose the prestige. I guess it's tension time. So we're yellow with everybody. This is uh, not the best. World War One's coming. Alright, so that first research we got there for fire control, it's a gradual national actually improvement. So you don't have to upgrade your ships at all with this. It's just a, a free upgrade. Some of the upgrades you research do have to be built to the ship. A lot of them are minor improvements. Okay, this is hilarious. So my home of Alaska is now free of the United States. I wonder if we could uh, take them over. That is hilarious and awesome. They're totally free. I'm tempted to send a ship over there, except it would take us so long to get on over. I don't know if the Panama Canal... I don't think the Panama Canal is even open yet. I think that comes in at a later date, so... Probably not worth it to us, but that's hilarious. Hmm. <clears throat> and if we want to save some more money, we'll take this heavy cruiser and put her also in the reserve fleet. There you go, half maintenance. I don't want to mothball the ship. It's a little too early to mothball because it takes longer to bring them, their crews up. But, uh, yeah. Ah! We could strengthen the Navy and piss everybody off. We get some prestige and budget, or just budget. And, hmm, we'll go ahead. Oh, escalated with Russia. All right, cool. Let's compare. Showdown with Russia. Way more budget. We are behind on battleships. Good on cruisers. We need another light cruiser. Comparable on destroyers. Okay, I think this is a fight we can do. Uh, okay, so we're going to take my light cruiser. Now, I did notice one thing I screwed up. Uh, or did I catch myself? Dick. Oh, no. I got it fixed. Cool. I thought I had these backwards. Uh, apparently, I'm fine on this ship. Cool. So, we're going to take this. We're going to call it the Huntress 2. We have some extra weight available. And, yeah, our 7-inch guns are not worth it. It's too much tonnage. And they're not good enough quality to make it worthwhile. Okay. Don't want to do anything else. Three and a half inch belt? Eh, not quite enough. 23 knots. Again, not quite enough tonnage. We can put into ammo. Yeah, honestly, I don't think it's worth it to do any changes. We'll just go ahead and build another Huntress for now. This one. The Seda. Sure. Alright, that's going to put us into the hole again. Also, we're going to build a bigger dock again. Soon we're going to start building some bigger ships. Right now, quantity is its own quality. 
and we're going to halt that. Hmm. So this is targeting the Balkan nations, so this will trigger directly with Russia. And probably Britain and France as well, they like to get irritated by these activities. Mmm, tension. Meddling of, ooh. Oh, France and Great Britain. Yeah, see? Uh, so this is not actually going to trip for Russia for once. Uh, deplorable, we, oh. Hmm. I guess we'll go for, that's the most minor tension upgrade, so probably go that one. Okay, it did increase. Hmm. But, yeah, tensions... Tension with France is not the best. We would have a lot of problems with France. They've got much better navy compared to Russia. Russia, at least, even though they have a bigger budget, their technology is backwards. Alright, heavy secondaries. Cool, so that battleship we saw earlier with the big guns, we could build that now. Or the big secondary guns. Yeah. We might consider that if that's where the AI is going. Uh, but we got plenty. We got a few months to think on it. <laughs> Twenty knots and seven inches. Okay, so comparable belt, but they are now building a battleship faster than us after two years. Mm, to be expected. Ah, no do DDs yet. Okay, Russia's having problems. Yeah, okay. I would like to cool tension off with uh, France a little bit. Ooh. France, oh, again, it, it wants to be there. I'm going to kill a little prestige. There you go. That targeted them and got them down. Perfect. I don't like to do that. I like to keep my prestige a little bit higher, but that's why we have prestige. And too few cruisers. Okay, nothing I care about. Cool. 1% weight. You, you see, we keep getting all these researches. Just 1%. 1% by itself is meaningless. You would never redesign any of your ships for a 1% gain. But in your research tree, you're getting 1% in machinery armor, hull construction, and I think even ship design. I'm not sure if any of the ship designs give it or not. But anyway, between these three, four technologies, you get, or these three technologies, you get, a, you're just getting numerous 1% increases. Which, after four or five of them across the trees, you suddenly go, oh, I've got a 5% improvement. That's pretty huge. So it adds up. It might not seem like a lot, but it does add up into some pretty significant weight gains later on. Twenty-one knot heavy cruiser. That's unfortunate. That ours is still twenty-three, so we're we're competing. Ah, so this would be more budget and tension, or more prestige. I want to get my prestige back in case we have to burn it later. And nothing of consequence. Yes, we're going to increase tension with Russia again. Ah, early subs. Build ship where you have a little bit of a surplus every month. Submarines are not something you could design. You just straight up build them. So I'm going to build three. Cost 100 per month. Okay, it's going to post slightly into red. That's fine. They do take a while to build. Just over a year. We'll probably be in the war before these actually even come off the assembly line. And I am going to go ahead and accelerate this battleship. And am I going to resume that one yet? We'll resume her for a couple of turns. Then the force. Ah, we lost some prestige there. We weren't able to take over the colony. That seems to happen pretty regularly for me with uh, Austria. It's very hard to get colonies. I end up finding it's easier for me to get colonies from beating the hell out of Italy than the other way. Aha! 600 ton DDs. Perfect. Cool. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my old DDs. Doesn't matter which one. Open the design. This one's going to be the Puma class. And we're going to increase 
the displacement to 600 tons. So he has a 50% change, pretty huge. We have a little bit of tonnage. And we're going to put that. We're going to add, can we add a Y turret that uses up a lot of that tonnage? We'll check it. Still low, it's still a short range. I'm fine with both of those. Uh, we'll go ahead and add some ammunition because we can now. Cool, 200 rounds, perfect. Save it. Yep, that's fine. Build, yes. And we're going to go ahead and build. Ooh, build two of these to start. And I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. Anyway, uh, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, yeah, we built new destroyers. It's all good. Budges in the hole for a turn. Whatever. In turn. New docks. Excellent. New battleship Whitworth. Alright. She's big. 19 knots. We're not going to be outrunning them anymore. Bigger guns. Big secondaries. Wow. So the AI right now is having a race with itself for who's got the biggest secondary cannons. And massive belt. Yeah, that's a huge upgrade in pre-dreadnoughts. We're going to halt one of these. Both of them. Okay, we're going to halt everything for a turn. And resume that guy. There we go. We'll break break even there. Mm. Cool. We're definitely on our way to a fight. It might not happen. I have seen these stall out. juggling perfect no more accelerations save some money We don't want to build any tension with France, we'll just let them do their own thing. <coughs> mm, more submarines. And we'll be in a warrior pretty quick. How are we still looking? Versus Russia. Yeah, we need that battleship off the line. And then we're going to immediately start building a third. Our heavy cruiser will be fine for raiding purposes. I just do not want to get blockaded, which is what they could do right now. I could use another light cruiser as well, but it will be competitive with destroyers, and honestly, we'll probably have the better destroyers. So we can see we don't even have center turret, middle turret technology yet, and they just bumped up to the first actual true dreadnoughts. That's Great Britain, technological leader. Mmm, <laughs> this one's slow. That's unfortunate. Italy, um. Increase our prestige. I'm surprised it went up with Italy. Zoom and resume. So we're going to open this design. We are going to build such a bigger ship it may not even be relevant for the uh, discount. No, it's not. So this is going to be an expensive ship. We oops, that happens. <laughs> we will not even be before the initial research for this, so we are going to finish at least one of these stories first. Uh, 
the alliance with Germany. Oh, <coughs> hostilities went up with Italy, so it might end up being an Italy fight. Okay. So that means those two have been hostile to each other. The AI doesn't actually get into fights with each other, which is somewhat unfortunate, so they always are free to rebuild their fleets the entire game. It's kind of unfortunate, but yeah, it's what you have to deal with. And uh, accelerate her. <laughs> All right. I am going to mobilize the fleet. It's going to cost us way more per turn, but I want to get these crews up and working. That way, if it is a surprise attack, we're not sitting there immediately blockaded the first turn and can respond to a fleet action. Mm, halt. That ship. Excellent. More money, more money. And we'll halt her for a turn. We'll see if they reduce. Yeah, they ignored the note. I'm not surprised. Some overweight. Dang. Oh well. Mm, we'll reduce those tensions. Okay, this is actually awesome for us. This does not cripple our ship building because it's exactly where we are. We can't build anything bigger than 12 inches. We top out 11 inches anyway. Uh. This is awesome for us. This slows down battleship development across the world. That's fantastic. Yep, so Great Britain just cro scrapped two battleships. Didn't affect anybody else. So that was actually curved Great Britain a great deal. But, uh, that's okay. That's great. That just means nobody else can do that rapid tech. Early Washington Treaty? Get both of these going. All right, here we go. Wars. It's basically going to be war next turn. <laughs> yeah, we're going to suppress. It could cause some unrest. Well, maybe not. We'll do nothing. Perfect. So we didn't even get hurt that time. All right, we did not go to war around the cusp of it, though. Build that ship. I need it. Yep, boom, we're at war. Okay. Fleet battle. That's why I needed that other battleship out. All right, so we're comparable forces. Two battleships, one heavy versus one battleship, two heavies. Uh, we're down on lights, ahead on destroyers, and we are ahead on minesweepers. We're going to accept this battle. Alright, so you do not get to directly control your entire fleet. Uh, most of it ends up running on AI, so we've got a lot of DDs here. Look at them. Um, core AI controlled. Uh, I'll probably switch you on over to support, because I don't need that many cores on that. You guys are already on support. You guys are core for DD Leopard. That's fine. You guys support for DD Python that is adequate. Our light cruisers Aspirin are both scouting for a battleship division, that's fine. The heavy cruiser on the other hand is gonna be switched over to core for the Henry. And right now, since we have not engaged the enemy yet in this type of uh, combat, you just have to basically move until there's a spotting. Now we spotted the enemy. We know that there's going to be a big fleet over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have my smaller ships. Uh, where do I want to be? I'm actually in a good position. So the wind is heading up to the northeast, which means it's going to carry the smoke away from my ships and basically clear my line of sight. Well, for targets down here, the smoke would be getting swept in front of their guns, obscuring their vision. So I want to bring my battleships like this. I like to bring this game down to slow speed for these type of fights. When you're just cruising around normal or fast, it's right where it's at. But uh, 
this type of deal, not so much. I'm gonna bring my light cruisers on over just a little bit. Yep, we're getting some spotting. All right, I need the ranges. So that's my sighting range. So she's the only one that can even spot them right now. Main gun range, totally inadequate. Torpedo ranges are nothing at this level. They are basically out of your cruisers, only there for uh, finishing blows. We do have substantial destroyers though, and if we decide to do a flotilla attack, they will wreck everything. Or they'll try to. And then lastly, firing lines, because I need to see uh, where my shots are going. I'm going to be carefully, I just want to keep that stuff in range. Oh, we steam squad max on my heavy battleship. My heavy cruiser is also going to go squad max. And you're going to cast them over to try to group up. You're going to be switched over to AI here soon, supporting this battleship. So we're getting good range wise. Uh, we're going to turn off these spotting ranges. You're getting close. Can turn you out some. And you are going to keep steaming right on down. Identify ship. Better Passini opens fire on this Bernie. So let's see what we got. A 20 knot, 8,000 ton heavy cruiser with two 10 inch guns and single turrets. Oh, okay, so that's how they got the tonnage. Okay. Any massive secondary barrage of 7 inches, that's what I'm worried about. The Marco Polo is a typical heavy cruiser. This was what my ship was, my heavies were built to counter. Nixio Bixio. Uh, actually a pretty stout AI ship for once, although the 4-inch guns are totally inadequate. It's a good anti-destroyer and some lights, but not those ones. And somewhere in here, probably back here, is their battleship. So we do not want to go ahead full into that. Again, kite out with my lights. We're going to bring the Henry down. We want to open up that edge a little bit. Archer is going to pull right in behind. Uh, when you're doing these, you can always use spacebar to pause, and it acts as a turn. So even though you hit it, it's, the turn has to finish. You can do some movements during the turn, though. And to move your fleet, you select the squares of the ones that are directly controllable, and uh, shift-click where you want them to go. Okay. I'm going to turn the archer into AI-controlled as a core f ship behind the battleship Henry. That way she'll just lay right in, and I'll only have to worry about maneuvering the Henry. The archer will just follow right on along, lay right in, and be perfect. These guys, I'm going to turn their behavior. They're not going to be scouts anymore. They're going to be instead a screening force. Uh, that way they'll group up a little bit tighter. And also, formation is on screen. Perfect. Okay. So I just want them to lay in behind my big battleships. So the AI does not like what's going on, so they're turning out a little bit, that's okay. We're not going to be pushing in super aggressive. Although apparently my destroyers have other ideas. AI support, they should come back. Yeah. We'll see if we have to, yep, okay, they're going to be, they're going to be behaved. Alright, we're going to turn south just a little bit. And uh, see what we can't see. I have a feeling they're running through battleships right now. Yep, we are not getting close enough. So we're going to go ahead and turn in and see if we can't get our main guns of our Henry on them. We'll actually go ahead and push the Henry up a little bit faster. All right, signals misunderstood. So in this era, the ship's AI, the idea is that you're still using flags to signal your fleet for what they're doing. So, the light cruiser division misunderstood the flags, and uh, they probably will not respond. Yep, they won't respond to any uh, orders right now. Unfortunate, but it's not critical right now. The other one's totally confused. Yeah, one where destroyers go confused too. This happens, especially in big fleet actions. <coughs> So their destroyer or their battleships might not have even shown up for this fight. Ranges, we're gonna go ahead and target these guys. Open fire. Uh, normally you'd be saving your shells, but uh, 
Crimea. We can't get in range of their cruisers, so we're going to go ahead and uh, let them do what they can. <laughs> Alright, we'll just lay these guys right back on in here. I have to be careful here because uh, I do not want squad max and my light cruisers. Let's get them caught back up. And you see you get these little splash downs around the targets. They're um, most of the time just bogus. The only real shots are actually what's in the log. I don't think we're going to chase her down. I was hoping she would turn for us. They will sometimes. We'll keep steaming. Increase the speed up some. See what happens. Perfect. They turned in. They just screwed up. So we're going to target our guns on the heavy cruiser division. 90, 100 yards. And we're going to keep steaming ahead for now. We're not going to turn out just yet. Because we want to retain our momentum. And our light cruisers, I want to bring them up and over just a little bit. Alright. Now we're going to take the Henry turn her out. Back in just a little bit. There we go. Our light cruiser is getting into screening range. Row up. Screen. There we go. I knew something was wrong there. You guys are going to target those destroyers. <laughs> You're on core. Don't think you have a good target. No, you got nothing. We might go ahead, turn you off that AI, and pull you where we need you. <coughs> I'm going to bring the Henry in a little bit closer. The torpedoes are super short range of this era, so I'm still totally safe versus those destroyers. Okay, they're heading to the north. Rather than cutting below, I want to keep the wind in a favorable position, so we're going to take a hard turn for the north. We will lose some speed, so miles and over, yeah, 17 knots. Small drop. Okay, uh, can we have a closer target? 8,300 yards. This other light cruiser division. And keep your steam in. And at this era, the uh, rate of fire is so low. It can take a long time, but we're in range. And a good hit it will devastate any of these ships. Nine-inch guns, Tiger Shadow, excellent. So th we're starting to get to uh, a nice broadside here. So we're going to need to increase it by hand. Now we're getting to where I'm working on my angles. So if you right-click on the Henry, okay, both of her guns are on target. And the Archer, only the four gun is. So that's where she needs just a little bit more angle. There we go get that broadside going. The archer, there you go, the aft turrets are engaged. And now we're just gonna swarm. And our DDs are just doing their thing. We're not they're they're just purely a defensive force right now. They're keeping those other DDs from rushing in. Where's my light cruisers? Alright, we need to bring you guys back in. Lost track of them. Alright. A heavy cruiser is going a little bit fast, faster than my battleships. I don't want her doing that right now. We're going to turn in and turn you in as well. Go ahead, do south. And try to stay engaged here. To try and make a run for it. <coughs> we keep firing, we're just not getting any accurate shots. It happens. Oh, uh, I 
one of their little destroyers was hit. That's something. Yep, so the Nimbo is now crippled. All right. Uh, weather is starting to come in. It's now overcast. Time elapsed. Yeah, so it's 6 o'clock, so we're about to enter nighttime. So we are not going to be sinking any of these ships, except for maybe one or two destroyers, it looks like. Finish that guy off. That's what you're here for. DD three CR one hit. All right, Henry, he's gonna turn out. That's a little bit too close. I do not want her taking our torpedo. Yeah, that ship's. Ah, uh, yeah, she's been hit by everything. She's. It probably doesn't say sinking yet, but yeah, heavy damage. She's she's gonna be dead. All right, you're going to set target on what's the next closest? 7,400 yards. Next DD division, Henry. You are going to target Marco Polo. Excellent. So the Marco Polo came back because we crippled that ship. You're also you're just gonna do your thing. <laughs> I need my heavy cruiser. Where is she? I think that is her. No. Are you? No. Someone here was a heavy cruiser. Oh, she got all the way up there. That's unfortunate. Well, you're gonna cruise on in here. Now the aspirin. We see she's what looks like damage. It's probably a jam turret. Yep. She's taking no hits. She's totally fine. It's just a jam turret. It does count as damage to the ship. So, uh, it's just a thing. And Huntress, you are going to be core for the light cruiser Aspern. Yeah, I controlled. It happens sometimes they break off and rejoin, so now I can just use the one light cruiser to deal with this fight. Henry, gonna keep coming on in. We're gonna have to pound that Marco Polo down. So that is a very heavy light cruiser. We are actually going to do a flotilla attack. So as the flagship, you can select it and tell it to perform a flotilla attack. And uh, your destroyers will start moving in for torpedo runs. The archer, I'm going to turn her out. She is on the Marco Polo, 4,700 yards. Excellent. I We should see some shots going in on this sh ship here soon. She's going slow. Uh, uh, they're almost to port. Yeah, they are going to escape today. Oh, there's their, there's their beta battleship. We finally caught up with it. All right, one hit on the Huntress. A pass-through. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we are just having a bad roll. Ah, finally, our 9-inch guns of the Archer connected with the Marco Polo, dealing some light damage. So at least we're one-to-one -one there. The Henry, turn out just a little bit. Six medium guns to Henry. Oh, a hinge room hit. Okay. Again, trees. Turret is jammed. Yeah, after it. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. So, this fight was a bit of a bunk. We sank one destroyer, but they've made it home. It's just what they're going to do. Oh, came back out. Okay, and watch it. Turn back, turn back, turn back. Back to back to back. It's gonna be nighttime. This is about to get really nasty. Yep. Oh no, we just lost sight because it's getting obscured. We just lost sight of the archer. Lower belt edge hit. Interesting. I've never seen that one before. Takes, yeah, 8 inch. Yeah, she's taking some damage. Unfortunate. Can we switch her back? Yeah, turn off AI. Squad max. Get her on out of there. And we are probably going to just stop with this attack. Turn off Lutil attack. We're not going to get him. Not this time. We're just going to sweep back. 
bring the archer along with, pick up our destroyers, take our toys, and go home. Yeah, controlled screening. I'm gonna switch back over to scouting. And uh we'll switch you back over to AI yeah, controlled core. And away we go. So that was unfortunate. I would have wished for more, but oh, we might get a transport out of this anyway. Who are we sinking? Come on, identify the ship. This is one of the problems with night attacks. It's uh, not quite night yet. But, oh, it's just a minesweeper. Well, I don't, I don't buy it. It's a big ship for a minesweeper. I have a suspicion that's a transport. Still says minesweeper, though. Oh, okay. It is. Minesweeper patrol boat. Okay, so it's just an AI generated one. And does not count. And I'm back. Um. Okay, so we'll just finish sinking this guy. I was hoping for something good like a transport ship. Yeah, target control is so bad at this era. But the good news is, even though this fight was kind of inconsequential, our guys got some excellent gunnery practice. So they'll start moving up from being fairly mediocre to something respectable. Last thing, drop back to cruising speeds. Um... Literally, you have guys shoveling coal into your coal bunkers and your ship into the boilers or whatever have you, and they get exhausted. So if you don't need to be steaming full ahead, then just don't. What happened here? Did you get torpedoed? Oh, uh, she took one. Wow. She took one, one hit. Yeah, no armor. It's a thing. Okay. We're going to steam for home then. And crank up the speed too fast. And now we basically just got to run out the shot clock. Curses, we lost a destroyer that is unfortunate. Yep. See if we can pick up her crew, doesn't look like it. Yeah, that is unfortunate. So this is actually probably gonna turn to either a draw or maybe even a victory for Italy. Yeah, it wants to everybody go on in. Scenario is over. Up oh, still counts as a marginal victory for us. So we sank one destroyer. Didn't count that uh, patrol boat because it's an AI generated. Mm. Damage to enemy, we dealt a little bit more damage apparently. Oh uh, yeah, medium damage in port. Okay, so we, we we hit her hard enough to actually make her go to port, so that's something. Okay, so marginal, yeah. An inglorious start. Cool. Well, uh, that's probably about my time. So, at least we are now in war. We are fighting Italy. And uh, we have a uh, mundane, if, you know, not the worst start in the world. So, uh, until next time.